Aloha parents and seniors. Welcome to our senior parent night. Uh, being delivered to you a bit different this year virtually, but uh, I promise you that by the end of the slideshow, you'll get all the information that you normally would if you were here in person. Uh, we do miss everyone. Um, we're hoping that we see all of you soon, but for now, um, if you have any questions regarding the slideshow at the end, please let us know. Um, just in a few slides, we'll have Miss uh, Georgia, Miss Yala introduce themselves as your class counselors, and uh, hopefully you get all the information you need. So let's get the ball rolling and, and let's get to our first slide. Hi, parents and seniors. Welcome back. My name is Mrs. George. Um, I'm senior counselor for last names Alpha A through K. Um, I'm really looking forward to working with each of you this school year. Even though it's not the traditional way to start the year, I know that we are going to have an amazing school year. Um, if you need to reach me, you can find my contact information on this presentation or on our school website. Um, let me know how I can help you this school year. Have a great year. Hi, seniors. It's Mrs. Iyala. I have students last names L through Z. I miss seeing all of you on campus, and I hope you're having a great start to distance learning. We're here to help you, so please feel free to give us a call or email. Our contact information is in this presentation, and we will help you as best as we can. Have a great and an amazing year, and we miss you so much. Hi, seniors. It's Mrs. Yamamoto, one of the college and career counselors. Um, I work with the students' last names um, L through Z. And we also have here Mrs. Schrock with us tonight. Hi, students. It's Mrs. Schrock. I am the college and career counselor for students with last names that begin with letters A through K. I, we miss having you here on campus and I look forward to having you reach out so we can work on your post high school plans together. Have a great year. So um, on behalf of the College and Career, um, College and Career Center, I will be doing the presentation. Um, we, as the College and Career Counselors, our goal is really to work with all the students to work with their post high school plans. Um, our main mode of communication is through our College and Career Center site. And so to access our College and Career Center website, you need to go through the Mililani High School's website, um, go to academics and scroll down to the College and Career Center. And then you will get to our brand new CNCC site. So as you can see, this actually just went live like today. And so you can kind of take a look and see. Um, we have lots and lots of information that we provide um, for students and for parents um, as just trying to go ahead and navigate to, um, to get through their post high school plans. So there, this is a work in progress. There are, um, there's, like I said, a lot of information. So keep on checking back often um, just to see what new things that we have um, posted on our site. As you can see, the very front page is our virtual college and career center. So take a, you know, click on some links. You can get access to all of the other information that you can find actually on, on this um, bar here. Okay, so just make sure that you get go through all of this information, lots and lots of info. Um, on our co college and career cent center site, these are, this is some of the information that you can find. So a scholarship listing. I know a lot of you are interested in looking into scholarships. So last year, the class of 2020 actually earned the most that we have um, earned over the, all the different years. So they earned over $28 million. So let's hope for class of 2021. So let's see if we can break that record and see if they can earn more money. Um, there's a um, bulletin that we put out almost weekly, um, testing information, the sites, 
And regarding testing, I know we've been getting a lot of information because, you know, test dates are changing. Um, you know, there's so many updates, especially with um, what's going on. So keep on checking your emails, keep on checking the website, um, either our site um, or College Board or the ACT site for the most, the most um, recent changes, okay? You can find student athlete information on our site as well. Um, just go ahead and click on the links and you can get to that information. Regarding scholarships, this is how you access our scholarship page. So you would select the scholarship link here and then don't forget that you have to select and click this button. Okay, once you hit that button, you will get to our scholarship page. On this scholarship page, you can see all of the different scholarships that we have and um, the due dates and uh, applicable links and everything. So super, super good resource. So get into the habit of checking this site often. We are in the process of getting all of our um, speakers available. So in the past, we've had lots of colleges that will come by and want to speak to Mililani High School students. So we sent out um, an information and a link to a calendar. And from there, you would go to this site and this is where you would be signing up for your speaker sessions. Okay, so um, the College and Career Center is, we usually host about 100 sessions every, every year. For this year, all sessions will be virtual via Google Meet. So you need to um, log in to your Mililani High School account. You need to fill out the Google form and um, that's how you will be getting the invite. It will be all through Google Meet. And these virtual sessions will be starting on September 21st, um, all during office hours. So we either have it from 12 o'clock, one, two to three o'clock. Okay, about 45 minute sessions. Um, they are always, you know, constantly scheduling with us, you know, as you reach out, we'll tell them to go ahead and get onto the calendar. So check back often. Okay. Um, this is who we have coming so far. Now the email just went out on Friday and as of this morning, this is how many colleges we have who are coming for our speaker session. So Oregon, and Oregon, and this is Oregon Tech, University of Portland, Oregon State, you know, UW, I think University of you see Irvine just um, confirmed. So lots and lots of changes and lots and lots of opportunities for you to learn more about these colleges. Now, normally on the senior parent night, we would be having a big college fair. That was, if you've come before to our college fair that we've had on campus, it would be about 60 or so colleges and organizations that we have on campus. Unfortunately, you know, with with the situation we're in, we're, we're not able to do anything on campus, but we wanted to make sure that you um, students were able to still get this information. So we created what is um, this college information catalog. And so it's on our site too, that you can go ahead and click right here on this link, get to this page. And you can see all of the different colleges who might have been here on our campus that night. And they all kind of gave a little message to you. And there's all their contact information and links to either their site or to virtual tours and various information. So make sure that you guys check this, check out this, um, this page. Super, super um, informative and hopefully tailored to our Mililani students. Um, also, what's coming up is we'll be having our um, our senior class presentation. So this would usually be held through the um, your English classes, like how we did last year when you were juniors. But unfortunately, yep, we're not able to go into your classes this year. But we will be doing it through your advisory class. So on September 23rd, we will be having a video with accompanying lessons and the um, information and handouts. So they will be made available through your advisory teachers via their um, advisory classrooms. So make sure you folks, you know, check um, check that out. Um, let us know if there are questions in the meantime, but um, make sure you log in on that September 23rd for advisory. Information regarding financial aid. I know this is going to be a very big topic because, you know, um, 
things change, right? So we are having a financial aid night. It's going to be on September 23rd at six o'clock. Um, go ahead and mark your calendars. This is going to actually be a live WebEx presentation. So we are having our presenter. He's going to be on live and um, doing the presentation that would normally be held in the cafeteria. Um, we will be recording this, this session as well, so it can be made available for students and families after um, after this, this night, so to make reference to. Um, we will be providing a link through either through our site or through an email, so more information will be coming on that about that. Um, another thing to consider is we have, um, you can actually start creating your FSA ID, and that is something that you can actually do right now. Um, the website for financial aid does not open until October 1st. So don't try to work ahead and think that you want to, you know, beat everybody and get on there now because the application is not available. Um, it will become available on October 1st. And keep in mind that you'll be using the application for school year. This is for college, when you be going to college, school year 21 to 22. Okay, so you need to use that application. And for your tax information, you will be using your 20, um, 2019 tax information. Okay, so keep that in mind as you're walk, going forward and working with um, getting our financial aid information in. Uh, last year, actually, Mililani came in first. Um, for getting the most um, financial aid applications done. So that was that was really, really great because you wanna make sure you have this um, opportunities and the financial aid that you would need to make sure you can reach all your goals, okay? Um, and also to keep in mind scholarships, you might need to have your financial aid done in order to apply for certain scholarships. So that um, you want to make sure that you are available. Sometimes parents might think or students might think, oh, we probably won't qualify for any financial aid, meaning the federal financial aid. But keep in mind that you do have to complete financial aid, um, the application in order to apply for certain scholarships. Um, more And more information about this will be covered at our financial aid night. Uh, certain reminders that we have, uh, transcript requests, uh, it's nice that a lot of um, students have been working on their applications already. If you need to have a transcript sent to a college or scholarship, make sure that you email us, one of us, Mrs. Schrock or myself, and we can go ahead and, and um, get that to where it needs to get to. Um, we are actually tracking all of our transcripts that are being sent, sent out, so um, be sure to email um, one of us. Um, the request forms are available on our site or on the registrar site, so check that out. If you need to have a letter of recommendation, whether it's from a teacher or a counselor, uh, make sure you ask as soon as possible. Um, this is just another thing that um, teachers or counselors need to um, make sure we get done for you. We want to make sure it's done on time. So please be considerate of time and deadlines and ask accordingly. Okay, so if you know that you're going to need a recommendation, again, for teachers and or counselors, make sure you um, start thinking about and asking them for those recommendations. If you're still looking for colleges to apply to, um, we use College Board as a great resource to have. Um, college applications are all going to be online for the most part. So check the school's website. I le we listed the um, UH system application website there. Um, so you can go ahead and check that out. They normally open September 1st. So some of those um, deadlines, um, I'm mean, sorry, some of those college applications have already opened. So check that, go ahead and check that out. Um, other deadlines to consider, um, we have like a general college deadline of December 1st. However, keep in mind that there are earlier deadlines. Um, the, the earliest deadline that I've seen so far, October 15th to apply to colleges. So, and that is coming up really soon. That's like in a little over a month. So these deadlines do creep up quickly. So just, just try to stay on track. Um, also, we put on there the University of California and California State, their applications are due at the end of November. Um, so that's traditionally when the deadline was. Um, it might have changed a little, but as far as I know, the, it's still that November 30th deadline. So keep that in mind as well as you're looking if, if those are one of the schools or some of the schools you'll be applying to. 
Other important dates we have on there, financial aid night again, September 23rd, 6 o'clock. Um, it's going to be a virtual event. The ASVAB, we had it originally scheduled for September 30th. We did have to cancel because of the pandemic. Um, if you do need to have an ASVAB, so this is the qualifying test for the military. If you do need to have that uh, an ASVAB, go ahead and contact your rec a recruiter for an appointment. If you check our military site on our web page, we have all of the contacts for the recruiters on there too. So go ahead and check that out. There was supposed to be a national college fair that was going to be here in um, Honolulu. It was supposed to be on the 15th of September. So that has been canceled as well. But what they did was they implemented some virtual college fairs um, on those dates. So September 13th, October 12th, October 18th, and November 8th. There's going to be these virtual fairs. You need to go ahead and it's a free event. Just go ahead and sign up and you can go ahead and check colleges from all across the country and I believe some international colleges as well. Um, this is something new. October 17th, there we're going to be um, advertising a virtual college fair, and this is specifically for Hawaii students. So kind of like how we would have had ours here for Mililani students, they're going to be there's going to be a virtual fair where um, you can meet with the recruiters who um, who will their their admissions counselors for um, Hawaii. So this would be another good event. So more information is coming. I was just told to have you guys save the date for October seventeenth. So you know if you have questions, if you're not quite sure what to do, you don't know where to begin. Um, please, please, please contact us, it's, um, Mrs. Schrock or myself, and because we are here to support all of you and all students, um, no matter what their path is. So if you're looking for colleges, you're not quite sure where to go, what to do, looking at starting straight into the workforce, you know, we can work with you. We work with families to go ahead and get your post high school options plans underway. OK, so please reach out to us if you have questions. Also, we do have a, um, an Instagram for our office, so follow us for the most um, up to date and important information. And our Instagram is at Mililani High School. I'm, I'm sorry, Mililani HS CNCC. All right, so next up we have our senior class announcements. Have a great year. Okay, hi everyone. My name is Kayla and I'm going to be introducing our senior class officers. So our class president is Bethany Ballesteros. Our class vice president is Kayla Moo, that's me. Um, our recording secretary is Gianna Abella Nakashima. Our corresponding secretary is Caitlin Palacio. Our treasurer is Elizabeth Johnson, and our advisor is Mr. Wagner, and helping us with graduation is Mrs. Grani Misaki. And now I'll pass it on to Bethany. Hi, Panther parents. My name is Bethany Ballesteros, and I have been class president for the past four years. I hope that you and your families have been doing very well during these tough times. I wanted to thank you all for the tremendous amount of support that you give to your Panther. Despite starting this year online, our council is working extremely hard to make this year better for the seniors. We plan to provide new activities and other ways for your students to get involved. I know this is not what we envisioned for our senior year, but with your support and positivity, it can still be enjoyable. Let's make this year count. And now I will pass it on to Caitlin. Hi everyone, I'm Caitlin. I'm the Senior Class Corresponding Secretary. For ways to stay updated with class-wide and school-wide events, you can follow our class Instagram, as well as our official high school and student activities account. You can also join our Remind by texting the code to 81010. We post class and school highlights, events, activities, and various other important information. The first round of voting for our graduation song and motto has been sent to your students' emails. Next, we have Elizabeth with our Panther merch. Hello, everyone. My name is Elizabeth. So moving on to class gear, if you didn't have a chance to buy a senior year shirt, you're all good. We will be doing a reorder. To make sure we will be ordering enough shirts for everyone, we ask that if you're interested in buying them or other class merchandise to take a picture of this link or scan the barcode. 
It leads to a Google form, so we are able to estimate how much class merchandise will be in demand. Unfortunately, we will not be reordering joggers or hoodies, so what we have will be sold on a first-come, first-served basis. But we will be selling tote bags for $3 and masks for $4. And if you're interested in getting a good deal, we will also be selling our junior year shirts for the amazing price of $5. Though we will not be reordering them, so these will also be sold on a first-come, first-served basis. Next up, we have Gianna talking about senior portraits. Hi everyone, I'm Gianna. I'm the senior class recording secretary. For senior portraits, each senior needs to book an appointment with LifeTouch Prestige Portraits at this website, portrait, prestigeportraits.com slash Hawaii online. If you have any questions or concerns, make sure you call the number on the screen. And all seniors will be able to upload two of their photos in the yearbook. One will be their headshot and the other will be their personal picture. All photos must be in dress code. The last day to take pictures will be October 11th. As always, check your emails, emails for updates and for updates on your appointments from LifeTouch specifically. Now on to Mr. Wagner to talk about graduation. How's it parents? I'm Sean Wagner. Um, I'm the class advisor for class of 2021, as you guys can see right behind me. I think that's poster must have been like 151 over the past four years I was created. But um, these kids are amazing. Um, as also, could you please save the date of Sunday, May 16th, 2021? So even though that seems far away because it's 2021, it's only 249 days left. 249 days marking the end of their 13 year career in Hawaii public schools. So on that note, um, in leading up to graduation, we're going to be releasing more information um, as they become available to us. So those involve the senior agreement and the cap and gown ordering. So those will be um, coming up shortly. I've also been emailing the students just about every week with important senior announcements, links, like the graduation song, as I said earlier, um, blood drive information, class merch um, links. So they're all in there in the email. Um, ask your students to check their email and look for my name to keep up with updates. But um, the class council's got some big things brewing for you guys this year. Um, I'm excited. I know they're excited, but we're going to keep everyone connected as we get through this year. Um, and thank you very much, parents, on your end. We appreciate all the support on the home front. And now on to Mr. Matsuba to wrap things up. Thank you all for being with, the, uh, with us here. We really do appreciate your time. Uh, we hope you got all the information you needed. Uh, but like we said earlier, if you have any questions, please let us know. Please contact any one of us. We are always here to support you. We will continue to do that throughout the year. Uh, we're really, really sad that you folks weren't able to be with us here tonight uh, in person. Um, we do miss every one of you. But just remember, uh, whether in person or online, it's Trojan Pride all the time. On that note, thank you for being with us. We do appreciate it. Uh, looking forward to, to a great year. Thank you.